Hi, I'm here with John Sparks, the Chief Executive of Crisis. Hi, John. Hi, how are you doing? Yep, good. Uh, what are we doing here this evening? So this evening we've, uh, we have an audience of, of mainly landlords and we're talking about homelessness and specifically we're talking about ending homelessness and the role that landlords and tenants will play in that. And it's an inspiring vision. I think it's an inspiring and bold vision. Um, and you made an announcement tonight that was made two weeks ago. Uh, tell us more about that. So two weeks ago, Newcastle City Council announced that they were committed to ending homelessness in 10 years, which we think is probably the first time that an area has said that they will do that. They also said they do it in partnership with Crisis. And the reason they do it in partnership with Crisis is because we've spent the last two or three years researching and writing what a plan to end homelessness would look like across Great Britain. So absolutely delighted they're going to be working with us. A lot of work to do. It will help an awful lot of people and stop them being homeless. But it will also provide us with the evidence, the inspiration and the example for other areas to follow. I think it's an amazing vision. And how did you come up with it and how long did it take to put the plan together? So we decided that we would do the plan as we were approaching our 50th anniversary. Um, and we went through the options, you know, would we celebrate our 50th anniversary? Would we do a big fundraising campaign? And actually we just thought, no, the, none of those are appropriate. What's appropriate is to show how we'll never reach our 100th anniversary and ideally never reach our 70th anniversary. So we set ourselves the challenge of writing down precisely what it would take to end homelessness because it's only by ending homelessness that crisis is no, not needed anymore. Um, and we came up with a costed plan. It's 500 pages, it's every policy, every action, all costed and the f complete financial case as well as the, moral, the obvious moral case. Um, it took us about two years to produce it. It involved a thousand experts, whether they're experts by experience or lawyers or um, uh, people who were landlords or uh, so a thousand experts, many, many consultation events and, uh, and it was launched uh, in 2018. Amazing. And I think what was great as well, you involved homeless people in that project as well, didn't you? You got their feedback. Well, we completely involve homeless people in absolutely everything we do, whether that's designing the service we provide for them as a person or whether it's our strategy as an organisation um, uh, and certainly if it's a plan to end homelessness. And our Experts by Experience panel, um, we work with on our own strategy. So everything I've talked about this evening about crisis strategy um, completely informed by those experts by experience and the plan to end homelessness absolutely involved them. Um, why would you not check in with your, uh, your, your key customers? No. And I think what I love about it is it's ending homelessness together and the together part or together we can end homelessness. That bit for me, you know, we've had the NLA landlord speaking tonight, we've had crisis, we've had other people from the third sector and working together I think is fundamental and that's part of your plan. Absolutely, and right from the start, you know, there, there would be something very arrogant about thinking you could do something as big as ending homelessness on your own, whoever you are. Um, and you know, it's, it, it runs right through our organisation. Every service we provide for individuals is done in partnership with other organisations. If we're talking about ending homelessness in a city, then there are a lot of stakeholders to be involved in that. If we're talking about the country, similarly, and it takes every part of the system. You know, the people who provide the housing the people who employ people, um, the homeless people themselves, uh, local authorities, the statutory bodies, it takes everybody to come together to do something as big as that. What our plan to end homelessness demonstrates though is that if we do come together like that, it's absolutely possible to do. And so people watching, they might be landlords, they might be philanthropists, high net worth individuals, they might be letting agents or have a property company. What would your request to them be? How can they help? So there are lots of ways to get involved. I mean, there is a very basic ask of money and support. Um, what we do costs, costs money and we need support from people to do that. The way we're funded gives us an awful lot of independence to do what the evidence tells us rather than to do what a commissioner might want us to do. Um, so certainly financial. If you're landlords, you know, you have a great asset there, the ability to provide someone with a home. And I would just ask for the flexibility, the imagination, um, cutting across any preconceived stereotypes and working with us to provide people with, with, with housing. Um, but also for landlords collectively, 
uh, to think about the things that they can do if they speak together uh, to encourage, cajole, enable politicians to make the right sorts of decisions on things like local housing allowance. Great stuff. Um, where can people find out more? Um, they can um, go on our website, uh, crisis.org.uk. They can contact me directly. They can contact any of the people you've seen here tonight. And we'll, 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 our email addresses are all completely public. People will know where to, where to find us. But go on the crisis website. A lot of great information um, and all the contact details that we need. Fantastic. John, thanks for your support this evening and all the great work you and your team are doing. Much appreciated. Thank you.